uh, welcome to my channel. I do beauty, makeup, and uh, makeup finds around town. So I try to find the best makeup for the best price and let you know where I've gotten it. So anyway, today I'm starting out with my foundation. And while I love my a Perfectionist Foundation, this is by Estee Lauder. It's really a nice foundation. Well, I like it. It's a little light for me. So, you can see on my hand here, I've mixed my Laura Geller. My Laura Geller is a Filter First foundation. Um, I got this on sale at Ulta, 75% off, when they were selling out of their products. And I was just lucky I had to be in the neighborhood that day. Then, um, or blessed, either way you want to say it. I got this one for my daughter, it was too light for her, and it is a little light for me. So, I got it out and I'm gonna mix it. Um, this one looks like, the Laura Geller looks like it's got some pink tint to it, which is what I need. And the um, Estee Lauder is kinda light. So I'm just gonna try to get both of them mixed up a little bit on my palette here, put them on my face. And we'll get it going from there. I primed my face already with some oil. And then I put on my moisturizer. Okay. All right. This is a pure uh, brush for foundation. And I hadn't used it yet. I found it in my... Arsenal, I've been, you have those days when you go through and you clean out your makeup area and try to reorganize it. And sometimes you get some great finds when you do that. I found I had this brush that I hadn't used and the Pure Cosmetics does put out a nice product. Oh, okay, you can see it's going into the skin just like that. See how natural that looks? And what it does is um, it gets rid of any age spots that I might have on my natural skin and makes it look smooth and flawless. Let's see if we can get any more off my hand. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'll just put this one in. I'm gonna put my foundation on all the way. And after I do that, I'm gonna do my brows and I'll have everything primed because we're going to do an eye look. Just as soon as I get back, we'll have everything ready to do the eye look, my lashes, lipstick, and blush and bronzer. It'll be all done. Okay, so ch I'll check back with you in a minute. Okay, curl them a little bit and get them in the direction I want them to go. Sometimes, sometimes they don't. All right, like my left eye always wants to go the other way, but here we go. So I might just put a little bit of mascara on so that I add my lashes, the um, tube will congeal and you won't see a separation if I put them on flat enough. So anyway, be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back with my blush. It's a Corally Peach Blush by Gigi. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and add it to my cheek like that. It's really pretty comes out nice, it has presence, it's beautiful. Put a little bit forehead here and down here for color. It comes out really pretty. Okay, so I can see that on my under eye it looks a little bit dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my CoverGirl Ageless Concealer because it has the moisture in it. You see how it has that white emollient going through it? color to my lower lash and I got the uh, emollient from RuPaul too that I can use so I'm gonna try that too to just give me a little more moisture underneath my eye 
But going back to my cocoa palette and my little brush, for the lower lash, I'm just going to go in and put a little more color like that, just to make it come out a little bit darker. All right. Okay. And um, on my lower lid, I'm going to use this uh, pencil and go in. add a little color for that and a little bit here. Okay. That, I think that concludes my look, except I'm forgetting to put my lipstick on. Let's see. This one's got a little bit of, uh, this is a wet and wild. Mm. It's got a mauve nice tint to it really nice we'll see if that will be enough for me for the day or if I have to add a little more color to that I think it looks nice and kind of accentuates the eye look so I'm going to list every product that I use down below I feel like my eye look came out pretty good my face makeup came out pretty good. I got a couple dry patches on the sides of my face. I need to put some more moisture on when I go to bed at night. This is a Wet n Wild. And um, lip gloss with color. Pretty, huh? Okay, so that ends my video for now. I'm going to come back uh, in a little bit and show you how my makeup wears during the day. So anyway, just keep on watching for my next video. Bye for now.